Hello, and welcome to a new video. So the other day, I was scrolling through the Instagram, as you do in coronavirus life, and I came across this picture. Now this skirt was being sold by a online store that was reselling vintage finds. Sadly, this store was not only selling it for a price that was kind of high for me, it was also already sold and they only were selling the one skirt of that kind. So I was kind of out of luck. But luckily, that doesn't stop me because I can sew. And with that lovely stroke of genius, I waddled myself to my fabric stash and came out with this. This is a king-sized bedsheet, actually, that I got secondhand. Now, I really like using secondhand fabrics because not only are they cheaper, they are also a lot more sustainable for the earth. As well, using things like bed sheets, you know that they're going to be easy on the skin because you're meant to sleep in them. They're not going to be itchy or anything. So that's going to be really great. I got this, which is like a lot more fabric than you would find usually. A lot bigger width so you can cut out a circle skirt no problem in one go without having to cut it in like two separate pieces I got it for like six dollars and I will definitely have fabric left over so that's really great so for this project I think I'll just be doing a circle skirt because I just think they're really easy and I will be making the belt and the buttons and so we'll see how that goes I don't think we're going to be using a zipper today because I don't think that's necessary so, let's get on with it. My first step was to draw and cut out my circle skirt. I've demonstrated how to draft this pattern in previous videos, as well as there's other tutorials on YouTube that I can link below. After you've cut out the big circle skirt piece, it is imperative that you just let it hang for about 48 hours. I usually cheat and do 24, and I haven't really noticed that that makes a huge difference, because since fabrics are made of a lot of little threads all weaved together, there is a straight grain and like the bias, which is sideways. But since we've cut just a big circle out of the fabric, we haven't kept in mind the way that the threads lay, so it may warp later on. So that's the reason we let it hang, so that it can warp now in, into the shape that you want it to, instead of letting it warp after you've hemmed it and sewed on other pieces. So I'm just going to let that happen, and I will see you later. While I was waiting, I was able to start on the belt, and I didn't use a pattern for this. I just used my waist measurement and added those little points on both sides that will lay on the front, and I doubled up on this and sewed them together. After sewing the two belt pieces together, I flipped them right sides out and ironed it. I also added a little top stitch so it would lay nice and flat. Hello! It's now a few days later and we can get back on with the project. So I just really quickly cut about a 3 inch um, gap around the waistline so that we are able to get into the skirt. And don't worry about this because it will be held together when we put our buttons on. I also went around and just hemmed this part. Okay, so in the picture, the skirt below the belt has a few pleats. And the pleats are just in the front, but I've decided to do the pleats on the side instead because I think I'm going to put pockets in and I'm going to use the part that is covered by the pleat to put in the pocket just for a little bit of mystery. I marked and pinned where I wanted the pleats to go before sewing them down. I also didn't sew them all the way to the top because I wanted to be able to easily get in and out of the skirt. After sewing down the pleats, I marked where I wanted my pockets to go. All I did was cut out and sew two little pouches, remember to leave an opening, and then I put them into my skirt like you would put in sleeves. After sewing in the pockets, I just top stitched the belt down. So the stitching is going to be visible, but if you do it in the same color and you're pretty clean, then you will have no problem. You could also do it in a decorative stitch, but I didn't because I don't want to. 
So now I'm going to add on the buttons. I'm going to be using these little guys. So we'll get right on with that. After sewing on my buttons, it was time that I move on to the hemming. Now, if you took my advice and let your circle skirt hang for a little bit, it may have warped. And so now would be the time that you would go in and just cut off the bits on the bottom that are hanging a little bit lower. I had to do that and it was absolutely no problem. Another piece of advice. When you cut out a really long skirt using a circle skirt method, the circumference of the skirt gets a lot bigger because it's just, it's just a lot of fabric that you're using. So hemming it takes quite a while, giving you a lot of time to think. So if you feel like hemming the skirt, don't do it in the midst of a pandemic because you will think too much. But hey, at least now we're done. So I will be right back to show you what it looks like. mind to the change of scenery. I just didn't finish the video in time. I really enjoyed this skirt. I actually wore it for a school day where you have to dress up nice. Touch of class. My one piece of advice is make sure you sew your buttons on really strong. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a amazing day. I'll see you next time. <laughs>